What's the difference between these two water filters? What's inside and how do they work? Which one do I carry out in the field? Does it work on beer and why does German beer come in boots? These questions answered on today's episode of Follow the Compass North. Let's begin by opening up my tried and true Katedyne Vario. I've put maybe five or six hundred liters through this, but it's got a capacity of over 2,000 liters in its lifetime. You can see on the top that it has two pumps so that it's pumping as you lift up and push down. This doubles the output to two liters per minute versus the one liter per minute Kitadine pocket that we'll be looking at here in a second. The output on the bottom also has threads so that you can screw this onto any wide mouth Nalgene bottle or you can hook it up to a hose and put it into any water container that you have. Inside the package you can see that we have an output and an input hose along with some other filters and end caps that I rarely use. I always keep the output hose separate so that it is not contaminated by the dirty water that is still on the input hose after you pump. This first filter is only meant to take away leaves and stigs and twigs so that they don't gum up the rest of the filter. In this little bag you can see that there's a scotch Bright scrubby, a little bit of cleaning solution, and some o-rings. It gave me about 10 of these and I've only gone through a couple over the last couple hundred liters of use. Let's put these away and take a look at the filter itself. Inside, this actually has three filtration systems. The first one you'll see when we crack it open is the ceramic filter. This has a 0.2 micron tolerance, so bacteria and protozoa physically cannot get through this piece of ceramic. Under that, we have the other two stages of the filter, a fabric cartridge filled with charcoal. This charcoal can take out other contaminants that the pocket catadine cannot. Instead of making a mess, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a little bit of this and then put it all back away and reassemble the filter. If you're using this filter on a particularly muddy water, you want to make sure that you take this apart and scrub this top portion every 5 or 10 liters because it can get gummed up and you'll notice that there'll be a significant reduction in your flow rate. It's going to get harder and harder to pump. So just take it apart, scrub it down, pump some fresh water through it and you're good to go. Our second filter today is also a Katadyne. Even though I'm not affiliated with the company, I do like their products. Inside this package, we have the exact same accessories with the input and output hoses. This one being brand new has a much nicer look to it. And you can see it's not worn off a lot easier to read on your output hose bag. The main construction of this filter is stainless steel and I do like the quality of it. It is rated for over 50,000 liters before you need to replace it, mostly due to the size of the ceramic filter being much, much bigger than the Vario. One thing I really like about this model is that the stainless steel upper and lower portions screw into each other and the plastic centerpiece is basically just a tube with high tolerances. This also has o-rings and you have to check those but overall if you screw it together it should just compress that centerpiece and be good to go. All right so we've seen both filters let's go ahead and see if we can pump some of this local Bitburger Premium Pills beer through the system and see how clear we can get it. A German beer requires a German glass and what better than Das Boot. I have multiple different sizes here. We're going to be picking the best one for today. I think we're going to go with this one liter because the two liter uh, does not fit well under the camera. As you can see it takes up most of the screen. So we'll back down to the one liter and fill her up. There are several stories of where Das Boot originated from, whether it be England or Germany, both have the same underlying idea that it was military men who would bet that they would drink from the boot if they won or lost bets, or they would use it as a hazing practice for new troops. Eventually, the troops commissioned glass boots to be made as going away gifts for their more senior soldiers. My prediction today is that this won't have much effect on beer as most of the contents of beer from the alcohol to the brown tint are on a molecular level and while this will filter out anything larger than 2.2 microns, molecules are far smaller than that. You can see it created a pretty frothy material. Those are all micro bubbles. It changes the color, but if I let it sit for a little while, you can see it clears right up into normal beer. Almost no impact other than making it flat. Instead, let's test this out on some muddy creek water. This is authentic 100% creek water complete with vegetation pulled from the creek in my backyard. 
As I start to pump here, I still see the same problem with micro bubbles foaming on the top of the water, but if I let it sit for a little while, I'll see that the water clears right up and it is good to drink. So what's my verdict? Between the two pumps, which one do I bring to the field? Hands down, the answer is the Katadyne Vario. The Vario comes in at $100 versus the $350 Katadyne Pocket. The double pumping action produces two liters of drinkable water per minute versus one liter of the Pocket. While the Pocket is a high quality tool, I don't think that it has triple the value of the Vario. Thanks for stopping in and I'll see you next time.